Brian, welcome to Pharmacoms TV. Thank you for joining us. Uh, to kick off, first of all, I want to talk about uh, the industry and the pressure that's there to connect with HCPs, um, while access is becoming increasingly more difficult. How, how can this be addressed? I think that um, uh, I had a talk earlier before at um, IFA Pharma about how I think that um, we're definitely set poised to go for more of an experience culture, moving for everything for all businesses. <clears throat> I think digital is uh, specifically niche. Everything is going to be digital, and I think experience is the stuff that's really going to help get the engagement out of that. And um, one of the things that interests me a lot in terms of the way that pharma works is um, how can we move experience into pharma? And part of experience culture is, is like if you experience something that you have deeper connections in your, in your memory for long term and short term on how you reference this sort of information over just reading it or, or hearing it or anything like that. And I think that VR and AR are crucial parts of that. And I think that the challenge is, is how can we commercialize these opportunities with VR and AR? Um, we work um, a lot in UX and UI design uh, in the agency that we are at the moment. And uh, one of my guys just went on a course on new UX um, methodologies and treatments for AR and VR, using new UI trends on how we can start designing for non-interface sort of design. And, uh, and what natural um, gesture movements and stuff like that would sort of help aid uh, um, with these new technologies that are coming out. So I think that like uh, in, in that point, um, how can we use these technologies to connect HCPs? And one of the main ways that I think that we can do this is by, um, you know, the big thirst for um, doctors to hear other points of view and change their perspective is by obviously going to conferences and events. But the problem is, is that like these conferences and events are so isolated to certain areas. Doctors are very time poor. They also need to have the funding to be able to go and do these things on a regular. How can we make that experience better? One way that we can look to do that is by setting up VR and AR events. And uh, these VR and AR events could help connect doctors uh, in Limpotho to, uh, to European doctors, change the mindsets of the way that they currently do stuff, which might be very standardized and, and against the book. And the experimental stuff that's happening in Europe could be then uh, given to, um, to doctors and surgeons in third world countries that they would only probably get through, um, through different uh, programs where international doctors come in and, and sort and help out. So I think the access of connecting doctors uh, is crucial and I think being able to give them that experience in VR I think is also very crucial. What sort of technologies have been used effectively recently from augmented reality, virtual reality, AI? I think you know um, we, had a, we had a talk before about like how, how also you know VR is also changing and lowering patient anxieties right so um, you know doctors can then um, you know, if they have set um, programs or animations that they can uh, show a cancer patient exactly what's happening to them, where the cancer is in their body so that they actually have an understanding and it's not this deep, dark, seeded monster that's growing with inside them, but they can actually have an understanding of exactly what it is, I think can help patient treatment a lot better. And I think that like um, being able to show patients and being transparent with patients also gives the doctors tools that they can, uh, they can learn and use. And it also grows, I think, the, the doctor's profile as well, being able to have these sort of new technologies and stuff. So I think, you know, as much as it's going to help patients, I think it'll also help doctors and like it's also generate revenue for doctors, I think, uh, as well as, you know, you know, if I went to uh, is like that that when 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 um, we were having babies and then you know we went from having x-ray scans to 3d scans of the face you know like uh, that was a total revolution in, in sort of the way that we we see things now and now it's common practice you know for most most clinics and surgeries and stuff like that and I think that AR and VR will be a part of of that sort of thing you know